Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. For you guys and gals, Licorice Recoil, we're here. We are live. Episode number 10. Quick reaction, quick stream to this one, everybody. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very nervous. I like the fact that it seems like we're finally getting into Endgame. Broke man, welcome to the stream. Of course, everyone, follow me on Twitch. Link to the box down below. Where you can find all my live reactions. Good morning, everybody. Today's going to be a capture day for me, definitely, in terms of getting into... Uh, this on the anime that I've missed. But anyway, with Licorice specifically, everybody, I'm going to be focusing on again, uh, hoping, 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 hoping that Chisato does not die. Cannot have that. Can't Chisato dying? I'd prefer Takano doesn't die. Um, she's had a lot of great development. I don't want Chisato dead. I, I truly don't. And I know they're prepping us for a death of Chisato. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. But anyway, everyone, we're going to hop into this one. So smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated. As always, we're going to begin. We're going to start this episode in... Where my timer at? Five, four, three, two, one. I, no, we don't know that Chisato's going to die. We know she's going to die, but we don't know she's going to die. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that they'll find a way. Oh, shoot. That's awkward. Dang. What? What? Wait, what? She better not kill herself. I'm just saying. I, wait, 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 No. They're trying to save you. I don't understand the issue here. Well, I mean, kind of do, but. After all this death flag, people are going to get mad, mad. People do not like fake. We don't like fake deaths, but this isn't a fake death. If you hype up the fact that she's going to die, and then she doesn't die, and is legitimate, there's nothing wrong with that. The issue with fake deaths are when people actually die and they make you believe they have actually died. It's not about the buildup to a death. If a person doesn't die after this buildup, then fine, whatever. But if you have a person, like, is Chisato died? And then afterwards, all of a sudden, like, Randley came back and Diaz Ex Machina stuff. If we had a Sabiku Ibisco where she died and then she came back to life, oh, I'd hate that of a passion. That'd be trash. But no, otherwise, let her live. Um, I've not been up to date with my hero. I do know what happened with the Bakugo stuff. Um, if you guys wanted to defend my hero, you're asking for the wrong person because I've essentially given up on my hero. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to call it trash, but I really have not enjoyed my hero for a long time. For a long time a after the stuff of Deku coming back. After he went, like, rogue mode so quickly and so easily, I kind of, like, I lost a lot of interest. But I digress. I think the thing is with Bakugo, they've, they've played that so many times, that whole thing of, like, the wound and, the, like, the deep... They've done it too many times with Bakugo. What? No, Chisato, no... This isn't the way. If she saw this here in the last episode, they will get hit with that emotional damage. That's facts. I will die. She's like, I'm dipping. I'll actually like break down if she saw to dies. Is she serious about everyone just breaking apart? Dang, this is actually going down. Yeah, I've seen that one, the Joker. Majima. My boy, Majima. <laughs> I 
Oh, is the red uniform a first uniform? Is that what that means? I never knew that. So Chisato's always been a boss. Oh, I, we, I think we always knew that about Majima, though. We always knew that about Majima. Majima's like, nah, stop this nonsense. That's why he hates the liquor so much. It's a fake sense of peace. Yo, Majima speaking facts. Oh, shoot. So he's not necessarily Allen. I guess I was wrong. But he's a member of the Allen Institute. Oh, don't patronize me. Yo, Majima. Yo, this man's so annoying. That's not fun. I'm a Majima. Like, that's no fun. It's like there's not even pleasure in trying to get him out. Fake sense of justice. Mm. <clears throat> Yo, this man's on a war path. Majima protects possible. Po I don't know, guys. Majima is not the enemy. Majima is not the enemy. Is he a villain though? Is he a villain? I guess he's a villain, but I root for him. Like I don't vote for, I don't root for Ruin. As much as I love him, I don't root for him. He is definitely the best villain though. But Majima over here like, yo, I actually like low key rooting for Majima. I'm not an anarchist. Man, they actually left. Okay, guys, I think the death flash of Chisato just grew. Not good. They'll come back. No, no, they'll come back. I mean, yes, he is a terrorist, but... Are the DA good? Are Allen good? I'm just saying. Last time I checked, he not hurting innocent people. <laughs> All I've seen him do are go after the establishment. I'm just saying. But no, and all, all joking aside, no, he is a he is he is bad. But I respect it. But he's bad. He tried it. Yeah, Allen Institute is definitely bad. Oh, the DA. You're not wrong. The DA are technically anti, but I don't trust the DA, if that makes sense. Because even though the DA as an organization has not necessarily killed innocent people, I don't know if the DA isn't involved in shady stuff. Because they swept the guns thing completely under the rug, and I don't trust that whatsoever. So therefore, I don't like the DA. The DA to me is not trustworthy. Really, the end? Mm -hmm. 
always putting on that smile. Yeah, and James, that's exactly where I'm coming from. If it's one individual, then you can make the argument. But at the end of the day, I whenever you have a giant establishment doing that, you know there's some cra- there's some stuff going down. Majima. The chaperoning teacher. Nani mo, nani mo. Thank you. Thank you. You are the villain. If you surpa- if you circumvent the governments and the things that actually dictate the laws, then you, you're not within the law. I don't trust that. It's like it's like a god complex. Majma speaking nothing but facts. I don't trust them. Machiavellism. Should we use a world where the presence of villains are not even felt? But is that true peace? See, this I actually disagree with. However... If there's no evil, you just have good. I'm perfectly fine with that, but I don't like the fact that you have artificially people trying to control those scales when they themselves could easily be evil. Exactly. It's, to me, is a morality issue. And I think, from a, in my opinion, I don't trust the morality of the upper echelon of the liquors. I was about to go down. Yo. So now what? Laws based on morals. Well, we hope that laws are based on morals. We hope that, but yes. Man, she lost her place to draw manga. Man, look how loved they are. Yo, lock your door. Inkuboku. Yo, the liquors are swarming. You can't take away the mangaka's place of drawing, man. That's not right. But what is it? Oh, kimono. This is love. Oh, now I'm feeling emotional. Mm-hmm. 
Mika's always been better than Yoshi. Huh? Mika? Is he about to finally tell her? Oh, they're going in. He's like Tokyo Tower number two. Hakai. Oh, the goat. The goat rising up. My dude's not there. Exactly. How? How do you have him cornered? Please. He tricked you all. You fools. Man, there are plenty of bad Yoshis out there. What's the promise? Mm. No, he's not. He's not a savior. He's a liar. <sighs> it's so true, though. He's not even wrong. I can't even blame him. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, keep in mind, and my understanding, by the way, everyone, is that Chisato had the ability to dodge stuff before having the artificial heart. That was my understanding. Chisato's just special. The heart allows her to live, but Chisato's Chisato. If I'm wrong, let me know. That's what I got from like last episode. <clears throat> no. <sighs> Mika's my guy. Mika's a good man. Unlike Yoshi. Yoshi's actually the epitome of trash. Yoshi's the top tier trash in this whole entire show. Followed by the head of the DA. And then maybe you can throw Majima in there. But I think they're born with it. That's the thing. I think they are born with those natural gifts, which is what qualifies them to become Alan students or children. I don't know if they got that as a result of being Alan children, but rather they had these gifts, therefore they were selected. Majima. Yo, he's coming for Japan. Gorfus people always want to take pride in categorizing. See, that's my biggest issue. It's not like there's true peace. Things are happening and then you're just making people ignorant to it. 
Kind of reminds me of 86 in some sense. Yo, this is so smart. <sighs> Bruh. This man's a genius. He's a genius. This man is actually a genius. That's so smart. Give it to random civilians. They're not going to want to join you. And then people are going to panic. Some are going to go crazy with the gun power. Others are going to panic. End up shooting people. This is genius. Mmm. Yo, I'll say it one more time. Deploy Chisato. Yo, I love this man. I might like him more than Joker. That was high key impressive. Collects thousands of guns. Average villain? Yeah, I'm going to build up an army. My boy Majima? Give it to the civilians. Yo, of course it's a trap. Yes, you can. Because like the, f <laughs> he's like, what is wrong with you? Yo. It's about to go down. The final battle. Chisato's ready. Mika. Here we go. Oh, shoot. I forgot the filter. Frick. Much of a whole plan to introduce chaos. The whole thing will expose false hero. The Joker parallels, including even the green, I'm not going to lie, are very, very strong. <clears throat> very, very strong parallels here. I love this episode. This, and again, I don't understand how this fell backwards in the rankings. This literally might have been one of the best episodes we have gotten. Majima as a villain is so sophisticated, so savvy. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Love this villain so much. The man gave guns to the civilians. He's just like, let society do its thing. I was like, dang. Just dang. That, that is a go right there. That is a go. Mika's about to teach Arisu how <laughs> All of you people, for those who watch Class from the Elite, you'll get this. The Arisu slander needs to stop. I'm tired of on all these videos, people being like, oh, Arisu crippled. Can't do anything. Man, 
She is the smartest or one of the smartest characters in the show. No cap. The nerve. Dang. I think Majima is Bane. Mm, I personally I personally see more Joker. Man. To me, the Joker parallels are too strong to ignore when it comes to Majima. In my opinion. The only difference is the fact that I think the Joker also was legitimately insane on top of that. Um, Majima's Creed is scary because he's not insane. Like Majima's very sane in what he is doing. Uh, that's just me. Uh, but anyway, everyone, with that, I'm going to end this here. I need to run. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm going to post this video. Like the video, like the video, subscribe, like my content. It's greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard, and I'm out. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Peace.